Hi everyone and welcome to my next tutorial. This here is a redo of an older one that I did. Well, not too old, but I did it a few months ago and I'm going to be redoing a whole bunch of my tutorials because I have a new mic now, it sounds much better, and I feel like I can get my points across much more easily now. So here we have the increment selection trick, which I'm redoing. I felt in that tutorial I was very quiet and I didn't get a lot of points across that I should have gotten across. So here we're just going to learn how to put a border around different things, whether it be letters or whatever thing you draw. And this can go for pretty much anything in here. Alright, so if you're interested, keep watching. First, we're going to open up Psy. I'm going to make a new canvas. In this canvas, I'm going to take any tool. I'm going to use the brush tool with a blue. And I'm going to write hello, like I did in the beginning. Then I'm going to take the magic wand tool and select the objects that I would like to have a border around. Now I'm going to click another tool just so I can see the marching ants. Then we're going to go to selection and then increment. And notice every time I do selection increment I get a larger gap between the object and the marching ants. Now we're just going to do that until we're happy with it. And here's just fine, it makes a nice border. Then we're going to make a new layer and drag that below the original layer. This is very important. Now take a black and I'm going to use a large brush and then sweep over the text. And now we have a nice border around the letters. Another option you can do is take out the black and put a white down inside. Make sure to use a large brush so that you know you've covered the whole area. Then we're going to zoom in so we see what we're doing and then select increment over and over and over until it's a little bit larger. Then make one more layer, drag that below all of the layers, and then take a black or whatever color you're happy with and sweep over and then it makes a border that almost looks like it's hovering around the letters. And there you go.